Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Today, we're going to be doing Mud Ball Wall on the easiest difficulty rank, and showing off the algorithmic solution for this level. So every single uh, difficulty of Mudball Wall, with every single solution, will start by just firing the default Mudball that it gives you. The next step is to change just one attribute of that, so we're going to change the shape. Alright, so that tells us that color determines which column it hits, and then shape determines which row it hits. So at this point, we've got an equal chance if we keep with a diamond or a circle that will hit a different part of the wall. So essentially, if we stick with red, we have a one in three chance of hitting this uh, spot on the wall that will launch them up. If we stick with diamond, we'll have a, a two in four chance that will have a, that will have like a 50% chance that will hit something on the wall. And if we stick with circle, we will also have a 50% chance. 50% chance is better than one in three, so we're going to change the color and keep it as a circle. Let's do green. <laughs> Alright, so now we actually have a 2 in 3 chance at this point. So, let's change it to blue. Excellent. Now if we can pick, turn that back to a diamond, we know for sure we'll hit that part of the wall, so why wouldn't we do that? So now once again, we have a 50-50 chance at hitting this part. We're going to make it purple and try our luck. Yes! Now by process of elimination, we know that orange must hit this column of the wall. So we're going to make that orange, and we know if we make that a circle, we'll hit that part of the wall. So now when trying to figure out which Whoa. next mud ball to launch next, we basically look at what columns we have left. So we've got, I'm sorry, rows. So we look at the second row, there are three different things we could hit there. For, uh, the fourth row, we'll hit nothing, and then the fifth row, we can hit one thing. So that's interesting. Now if we look at the columns, because we know all the columns at this point, if we choose the color orange, we've got a one in three chance of hitting this. And if we uh, pick red, we also have a 1 in 3 chance of hitting this. Whereas if we pick green, we have a 2 out of 3 chance of hitting that. So we're going to pick green, and we'll use a star. So unless we're unlucky, and hit, we'll hit there. Otherwise, we're going to hit one of those two. Okay, so we were really unlucky there. But that's okay. That happens, and that doesn't affect the solution. We'll do square now. Which means that triangle will hit in the second row, and we can now figure out where to shoot to hit all of those. So we do try and So really this level, the first step is figuring out whether color determines row or column, and then vice versa. And then after that, determining which specific types of color and which specific shapes actually want you to watch which part of the wall. So we got unlucky a few times there, but that's okay. We still have a good bit of mud left. Let's try that again, just to show it off in a little more detail. Wow, okay. Super lucky. And the nice thing is, no matter which trait we change, we will have an equal chance of hitting the part of the wall. Alright, so we know that circles hit in the third row. Blue, color blue hits in the first column, color green hits in the second column. At this point, if we stick with green, we'll have a higher chance of hitting that part of the wall than if we go back to blue. So let's change the shape. Excellent! Now if we change it back to blue, we know it'll hit that part of the wall. So basically, if you know you can hit a part of the wall, hit that part of the wall. Otherwise, go with the highest chance you have of hitting the wall, based on what you already know. Let's go back to circle, because we still have one more fan over there. 
So now we got a 50-50 shot. Got a bit unlucky there, but that's okay. Gives you plenty of mud on the easiest difficulty. So at this point, we know all where where to. At this point, we know how to fire in each column. We know exactly how to fight in each column. So we're essentially going to look at the columns and figure out which we have the highest chance of hitting. That's going to be if we keep it at red, we have a two out of three chance of hitting one of these. Whereas if we stick with purple or green, which is where the other the other columns where we've got ones left, it's only a one in three. So we're going back to red, and we're going to do a diamond. Excellent. So now if we go back to purple. We both hit that part of the wall. So at this point, we have a 50-50 shot. An equal chance if we st uh, stick with red or go to green. Let's go to green. I love green. And now let's do a triangle. Excellent. Now once again, we know red hits in the last column. We know the triangle's hit in the second row, so we know a red triangle is going to hit right there. And that's the level. Very, very simple algorithm, and it's okay to screw up a few times even, because they're very generous with the mud on the first difficulty. Well done! I don't think we need to show that off again. I think everyone got the gist of that algorithm. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going back to Mudball Wall on Oh So Hard, figuring out the algorithmic solution to that. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.